Max, go ahead and go. Zach, Jimmy, and Gary, keep on coming. Just keep on making laps, guys. That comes across the line first, followed by Matt, Jimmy, here comes Brandon. All righty, Zach driving a nine lap five thirty, Max a seven lap five fifteen, Jimmy seven lap five forty five, seven minute thirty down, three thirty left drivers, Brandon just popped up at the four lap six oh four, waiting for Gary to come around, he put his way, taking his time. And 8 back 547, Jimmy six point with a 6 five flat. Brandon, a 4 507. Gary, a 3 back 715 pace. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, guys. Greg, grab that buggy there. Hey, guys. RC Projects, 1966. And um, you guys just watched the race video. That was with my Summit. Uh, pretty much all stock. Took the waterproof box out because I had to drill the bolts out because they rusted. I had to put a new receiver in it. And uh, those buggy tires. But uh, second part of this video is kind of a dual thing. I didn't really want to upload two different videos, so... Um, I just did two videos in one. Um, RX-8 unboxing. I don't know. Just letting you guys kind of know what I get um, for the Losi build. So I'm going to open this up, try to videotape at the same time. But I ended up taking. They put me in like a monster truck, nitro buggy, uh, eight scale electric class. And a uh, guy who used to be a really good racer. Personally, I didn't know him, but I heard uh, nothing but good things about him. Uh, Charles Porkchop, he ended up passing away in one of his old trucks I ended up racing against. Um, I'm not sure who was driving it. But, uh, yeah, they're racing that at uh, Strongville Hobby in Illyria. He gets me to track. Set you down here for a second. Right. Pull this out. Alright, so that's how she's going to come. So it looks like you got some switches. Mm. Okay, so they've put some really annoying like glue on the bottom of this. It makes it nearly impossible to get it out of that box. It's like liquid rubber. Okay. So on the ESC, plug for your receiver, looks like it goes into a Spectrum receiver because it doesn't have the little lip on the one side, which is good because I run Spectrum and the on-off switch. Here's the ESC, feels pretty heavy, this top piece feels uh, like aluminum, or no that piece is plastic, this heat sink is aluminum, sensor wires and then things to solder on to. Tekken sticker sheet, blue Tekken sticker sheet, and what is this, oh, fan, yeah, and then there's your fan plug, 
probably going to put that on. Oh, that's nice. They uh, even give you wires. Looks like... I'm going to cut these off. I'm trying to decide whether these are motor or uh, for your battery. Those would be... Okay, so these are for your motor. I'm sure you could use them for your battery if you wanted to. You could use these two for your battery, but... Um, it looks like you're going to have to buy wires or chop these in half and then solder half of them to your motor, half of them to your battery. I don't solder my own stuff, so I can't tell you guys the best way to do that. But Yeah, just real quick unboxing and uh, mount this up probably this way. Here in my SCT and uh, I got this idea for uh, how to mount this. I don't know whether you guys want to use it or not. Um, personally, I haven't tried it, so I can't tell you whether it works or not. But uh, actually, let me just okay, show you. So basically, here's my idea. I had this tire that the tire blew out when I was running. So I took this Proline foam. I haven't glued it yet. Let me know what you guys think of it. Um, a lot of people um, actually break their ASCs like this. A lot of RX-8s have gone up in smoke. A lot of hobby wings. Uh, I'm not sure about Castle, but um, at our track. I, a lot of you guys have been at Medina, it's like fast forward a couple seconds, but anyway, if you haven't been to our track at Medina, it's like an 8 scale track, or a 10 scale layout with a couple 8 scale jumps, but there's a tr or jump in the, right in the front, right in front of the driver's stand, you maybe get, I don't know, up in the air, 10 feet, with some of the 8 scales, cores get maybe 7 or 8, but uh, basically a lot of ESCs are breaking, and people are talking about putting O-rings, and taking their ESCs apart, and fixing them and stuff, well, I was thinking take a tire foam, short course one's the right width, glue it, tape it, whatever, to the bottom of your ESC, and then put it on your mounting plate, and it's not secure, but I mean, if you just, you can push on it, and you can feel that there's a little bit of give there, and I'm mean, going to be like, you know your tires, you can push down on your tires, and there's a little bit of give there, but it'd be the same idea with your ESC, so uh, I'm probably going to try that just to see if I can not blow up my new $180 ESC and uh, thank you John Donahue for selling me your spare one for uh, so that I can get this truck up and running and uh, next weekend hopefully this is going to be done so uh, see you guys then